So you might have seen my previous video where I showed you this AMD RX 6950 XT that I ended up picking up from Micro Center for $425. And well, at $425, this thing is a pretty great value. It gives similar raster performance to the RTX 5070 while being over $100 less than the MSRP of the 5070, and that's an MSRP that you realistically are not going to find today. But while testing this card, something became very apparent pretty quickly, and that is the fact that it runs extremely hot. This thing was reaching almost 100 degrees in pretty much every title that I tested on it. So clearly, this thing is due for a repasting. That's exactly what we're going to do here today. Now, I know that it has some plugs around it because of the LEDs and the fans, so I know that there is one down here, down below, and I believe the other one is at the top oh uh, yeah there is one right here so i'm gonna see about unplugging these all right so that's one down all right all right and that is the other one right there so now what we're gonna have to do is start undoing all the screws back here all right, so I got all of the screws off. Keep in mind that you do need to take off all of the screws back here. So now we should just be able to pull off the cooler. Okay, I managed to get it off. Oh yeah, that thermal paste is definitely looking pretty crusty. Yeah, yeah, that's that's super dry. So we're definitely gonna have to clean off the die and I'm gonna also have to clean off the heat sink there. So we're gonna have to get this clean. Now, I don't care too much about whatever is on the sides. That's not really going to affect anything as long as we're still getting full proper coverage of the die itself. That's really the only thing that matters. Yeah, that thermal paste just came off so easily there. That pretty much lets you know this stuff was really dry. So what I'm going to be using right now is very simple MX4 right here. And I am going to just put a decent amount since this is a GPU die. You pretty much want full proper coverage. And I usually find that with GPUs, you're better off having too much than not enough. Now to get this thing back on. All right, so I have it all back together, just plugging in the last little plug there. And this thing should, in theory, be repasted unless I put in the wrong amount of thermal paste. We should see a difference. So let's get this thing into the system and see if there is any difference in temperature. So I immediately jumped on into the new Oblivion remaster and after just roaming around for 10 minutes, you can see that the temperature that we ended up at was 78 degrees Celsius. This is a pretty significant drop in comparison to what we were at before. If you take a look at what it was like before we repasted it, after 10 minutes of roaming around, the GPU temperature was at 96 degrees Celsius, an almost 20 degree drop in temperature. That's a pretty massive result, and what ends up happening is that we end up seeing better GPU clocks overall, as well as the system just running significantly quieter. Okay, so that repasting ended up doing a pretty incredible job here. That was a far larger drop in temperature than I was even expecting to see here. Though I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. I mean, this is a graphics card that at this point is pretty much three years old. And it's a very high-powered graphics card. So the more power it uses, the hotter it's going to run. And the hotter it's going to run, the more it's going to end up drying out that thermal paste. And well, after three years, that thermal paste was very very, very dry. You can always judge the quality of the thermal paste when you're trying to clean it off and it comes off pretty much immediately. That pretty much means that it was more of a solid than anything else. And well, with this massive drop in temperature, there was also a massive drop in noise. And I was worried at first that this is a card that I would realistically not be able to use in my main system because of just how loud it was at almost all times. 
but after repasting this thing, it runs really, really well. And I will note that there is a BIOS switch right here. Apparently the card has a OC and a silent BIOS. I have it set to the OC BIOS. I didn't even try the silent one. I mean, clearly it wasn't going to do anything because the card itself needed a repasting, but I might have to mess around and see what the power usage is like between the OC and the silent versus the amount of performance that we get, because if I'm sacrificing just a tiny bit of performance to save a decent amount on power, I'd definitely do it. So I'm going to keep messing around with this card, but I'm very glad that this repasting worked and it has me now thinking that my RTX 3070 Ti might need a repasting, though it is a much lower power card than this. It definitely has seen some heavy usage over the years. But anyways, I will catch you guys in the next one.